Hey guys, my name is Yasmin. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking all about promoted listing. It's a feature that is available on eBay for above standard and top rated sellers with recent activity. Um, so some of the questions that I'm going to be answering is what is promoted listing? Um, how does promoted listing work? What are the fees? Who qualifies for promoted listing? eBay also claims that the average promoted listing boosts your views by 30%. That's, that's, that's pretty good. You know, 30% is pretty good. So these are some of the things that we're going to be talking about today in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That will help me in knowing whether this content is relevant or not. So the first question is, what is promoted listing? Well, it's a feature on eBay that is available for top rated sellers and above standard um, sellers who have good standing and have made recent activities. Um, so by using promoted listing, you're giving your item or items a chance to be viewed by more um, buyers. So that is kind of the goal. The more views, the more you're increasing your chances of making a sell, which is obviously the objective. So what items are eligible for promoted listing? Well, fixed prices for most categories, except vehicles, travel, real estate, that kind of thing does not qualify for promoted listing. Um, your item must include at least two photos. Um, your item needs to be in good condition, nothing that is broken or damaged. Um, and then auction and auction by now are not eligible. What are the fees? Well, you choose the ad rate. It can be anywhere from 1% all the way to 100%. Why would you pay 100%? I don't know. Some sellers do it. I hope they're not doing that, but if they are, there's got to be probably a legitimate reason for that. Um, I wouldn't do it uh, personally, um, but hey, that's your business. So eBay also gives you a calculator rate um, based on several factors, attributes, um, is the item on, on season, um, current competition on that item, and all these other items. So that doesn't mean you have to go along with that calculated ad rate. Again, you choose your rate between 1% and 100%. So, Again, you will only be charged when the item sells. So if a buyer clicks on your item and purchases within 30 days, then you will be charged the ad fee that you selected. You will not be charged if a buyer clicks on your item but then doesn't buy it. Wouldn't make sense to have that, that feature, right? Let's say you have an item listed for $45 and a buyer makes an offer of $30 and you accept it, you still need to per, per, uh, pay the promoted listing ad rate um, based on the final value fee. Um, but let's say that you made a counter offer and um, counter offer for $35 instead and the buyer accepts that you still have to pay the promoting the promoted listing ad rate. So that's kind of how it goes. You get the idea. So for the next 30 days, I'm going to be trying out this future on eBay because I am a new seller. I am new in the game. I don't want to um, immediately jump into eBay's calculated ad rates because of course I'm still trying to make a profit I'm not trying to pay more fees than I already am already paying so if I were you in my case I'm starting low at 1% this is giving me an opportunity to, to test this 
um, promoted listing feature. I'm testing it out. And then when the next 30 days, I'm going to be able to share my data. I'm going to be able to determine if this item was worthwhile. Um, right now, I'm currently doing promoted listing for the majority of my items, not all of them, but the majority of them to see if it bumps up my views, but also the, obviously the goal is to make some sales. So I'm going to be talking all about that in my next video to see how things turned out. So we will see. Well, thank you again, guys, for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed it. So give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.